So we need volunteers. Okay. You know, if you have a passion, we need you. Yeah. You know, yeah. we need your time. We need your talent, and we need your treasure. Yeah. So uh, that program allows seniors to live honorably and to be respected by our youth. Okay. 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 Along that, along with homespan, is something also called the beauty and glam for seniors. Good afternoon, everybody, and we are back. I am Shawnee, and welcome to the Shawnee View, designed for happy life, engineered to last. The purpose of my podcast is to exemplify dreams and goals and how to achieve them through self-motivation and inspiration from others. There's a saying, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. Today we are here with Terry L. Dent. I'm the executive director of the World Mall. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nice Terry you. L. Dent. And you are? And I am Travis Miller, a.k.a. Big Trav, Spider-Life President. Okay, Big Trav. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, nice too. To meet you. Right. So would you like to tell me a little bit about your business venture and what inspired you to begin? Well, um, the business venture name is The World Mall. Okay. We're not a traditional mall. We're a mall of talented people. Okay. With gifts. The inception occurred back in 2001. Mm -hmm. It came through a vision that I had, and it laid dormant until about 2018. After I retired, I had to find something purposeful to do. So I started riding motorcycles, Can Ams to be exact. Okay. Can Am spiders. Okay, I have seen them around every now and then. Yes. I'll see. Well, them. Um, from that, I was able to see people from all walks of life. We'd ride in rural Georgia, coastal areas, and we'd meet people. And with those people, we saw that some of them were troubled, or they were on the streets asking for money and. And so it just inspired me just to have compassion. Okay. And it just brought around my dream, mm -hmm. uh, my vision of what I had dreamed before. So bringing a service to the community. Bringing a service to the community. Yeah. And um, I wanted to do more than just bring service to the community because mm -hmm. I know there are a lot of helping services mm -hmm. already. Right. And with those helping helping services, there are there are still major issues that haven't been overcome mm -hmm. okay and so what makes me different than the uh some of the other people out there that are helping is that we keep god first okay we use bible basics getting yeah. back to the basics that's good. that's good you know um and uh what we work with is the seniors mm -hmm. because we want to honor our seniors okay and we want to help those that are young adults mm -hmm. uh, to get careers and create a legacy and capture their legacy. Okay, nice. And then uh, we have to think about our youth because right. that's the next generation. Yeah, they we are. We have to our guide future. them, lead them, father them, so that um, they can be productive citizens. Okay. So, Mr. Travis, how did you get on board with? Well, um, they say every dud knows a stud, right? So, I, <laughs> a friend of mine, um, had a guy I met actually. Um, uh, we met in a in the Publix parking lot of supermarket. Mm -hmm. And he saw that I had the same bike he had, so he introduced me to Terry. And then later on, <laughs> later on, me and, me and him kind of separated and I was, I was brought to Terry. Wow, wow, okay. So how many events <clears throat> have you guys done? Or is there a specific event that you do annually? Or how do you do Well, uh, as far as doing events in the community, mm -hmm. we're just launching. Okay. You know, it's okay. been three or four years since the inception mm -hmm. and yeah. the uh, time frame that it, it, that it has taken to get us to where we are today. Okay. And so we have a great vision and we are partnering with Elite. Minor, <laughs> Minor Elite. Elite. Minor okay. Elite. So, so what are your expectations on partnering with Minor Elite on the bikes and lights um project that's coming up well uh to be honest with you collaborating and partnering with mine elite brings insight into our overall vision yeah 
and mission. I mean, uh, minor league has a specialty knowledge uh, in our youth and young adult yeah. programs. And so it's with great honor that uh, we look forward to working with minor elite uh, because uh, maybe she doesn't know it at the time. And this mm -hmm. is, I'm speaking of Karen, yeah. Miss Young, mm -hmm. uh, that she'll be heading up that. And uh, yeah. I would rather somebody that has a passion for it mm -hmm. than somebody that just, just accepts it. And everything, she you is know. very passionate about right. this. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to this event. We have been putting a lot into it. So right. I'm happy that you guys were able to cross paths. Like Absolutely. <laughs> everything happens in time. It does. So what advice would you give to someone who may be considering following a similar path or being in the industry that you're currently in? Well, um, I spoke with my son by accident because the phone seemed like he just called him on a Friday. Mm -hmm. And uh, he told me, he said, Dad, you are a minister. I said, I'm not a minister. He said, yes, you are. <laughs> so you're a minister, but you're, you're the new you're doing it the new way. Okay. You're not doing it the old way. Yeah. Because um, you are providing love to the community. Yeah. And if you look at our logo right here, you'll see it shows we are a little bit of that light coming through. Yeah. And the love just circles the world, the yeah. globe. Yeah. And so that's what the World Mall is all, all about. That's it's nice. reaching people throughout the world with the mission of increasing the, the kingdom of God. That's Not by tens, but by millions of people. Right. And that is the vision that I have uh, yeah. for the World Mall. It's, it's very attainable. And a lot of us need to know that everything happens with a purpose. And if we focus on our purpose, a lot of us will be more heightened in life and be able to stand tall and proud, mm -hmm. you know, and not just follow the narrative that was given to us. Right. So, yeah. And, um, you know, that brings me to our warrior program. Okay. We call them frontline warriors. Mm -hmm. That means they're not just the average person that may be lukewarm Christian. Right. These men and women are on fire for God. Yeah. And uh, we have the uh, warrior club for adults, mm -hmm. seniors, and we have them for uh, middle-aged adults and our okay. youth. Okay. It's especially great for our youth and our seniors because what it does, it allows our seniors to combat isolation mm. with them having a talk with a younger person. Right. Sort of akin to like a child talking to their grandparents yeah. about life, social issues, and mm -hmm. things of this nature. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. That, I like that because before COVID hit, Kids were already just, you know, stuck in electronics and in the digital world. But then when COVID hit, it pulled the adults into the digital world and right. into isolation as mm -hmm. well. So yes. we do want to get back to socializing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, one of the other programs uh, we have, well, some of the programs we have dealt with every stage of life. Okay. And I talked about from the youth, the adult, and the senior. Mm-hmm. We want to honor our seniors mm -hmm. because uh, with the graying of America, people are living longer mm -hmm. and they're retiring out of the workforce. Oh, and I there's no space for them. <laughs> there's no space for them in hospitals and nursing homes. Yeah. And so that is why Homespan was created. Okay. Homespan means expanding your world at home. Nice. And that provides home modifications. Mm -hmm. It provides uh, now all these services are volunteers. So we need volunteers, okay. you know, if you have a passion, we need you, Yeah. you know, yeah. we need your time, we need your talent and we need your treasure. Yeah, we do. So uh, that program allows seniors to live honorably and to be respected by our youth. Okay. 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 Along that, along with Homespan is something also called the beauty and glam for seniors. Okay. Going gracefully mm -hmm. because if we're fortunate you'll get to be the age of my parents. Yeah. My mother is 93 and my father is 95. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And so they need help from time to time, but they're living their best life. Yeah. Um. Do you have anything that you would like to add? Um, well, um, basically, I wanted to talk about Tribe Night. 
Okay. And Tribe Night is an event that's hosted by Spider Life Nation. Okay. It occurs monthly Wednesday from 6 to 9. And it's during riding season. It'll be downtown Atlanta. Oh, this sounds fun. I want to go. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and um, it combines community engagement, showcases, and essential item distribution. Okay. Right? It'll be a bike showcase. Uh, you can bring package ready to eat goods. Okay. Not something that we have to prepare, but something that's already ready to eat. Mm -hmm. Water, uh, some seasonal clothing, monetary donations is um, is asked. Okay. And join us with the bike tribe and the family to display motorcycles and motorsport vehicles. That sounds really fun. Right. And also, <laughs> it's uh, essential item distribution, basic necessities. And we're going to load it onto a 16-foot trailer as we bring it down. Oh, wow. Um, it's, it's going to be a convoy that move, moves through downtown mm -hmm. Atlanta in different locations. And um, it's going to be about 45 minutes each location. Wow. How long? So is this the launching of that? Or are you all This have is one of our uh, visionary programs that we will be incorporating okay. as membership grows and we have support. And, um, you know, right now, we are in our launch stage, so we're yeah. looking for volunteers. Okay. Anyone that's passionate about motorsport or just helping others, yeah, that's who we're looking for. Okay. You can bring your family, you bring your pet, and have your young kids bring their bicycles. Okay, I was going to ask that you bring your own bike. Bring your bicycles, <laughs> you know. And um, our plan <clears throat> is to be escorted uh, by the uh, sheriff's or police department, you know, oh, because wow. we want to be official and we want to include our county and city government yeah. and what we do okay i'm sure they will enjoy being a part of it too mm -hmm. right and having that positive media so how um <clears throat> you mentioned this it's called spider light nation you all are going to be a part of the bikes with light oh, absolutely okay. absolutely they, okay. they are an integral part to our youth yeah because uh you know we have we are showcasing the toys mm -hmm. for the big boys but right, you know, we right. also want to showcase something for those young younger people yeah uh whether you're boy or girl whether you ride a trike or or yeah. whether you ride a uh, little scooter or whatever yeah we want to teach bi uh, bike safety okay I and love uh that. you know the program will expand later on mm -hmm. as we develop our mentorship team okay for um a class on bike safety okay uh when and i then, was uh, there will be a surprise at the end so i'm just going to just leave it just like that. it's going to be a surprise right. for those who go through the program well i'm you know glad you mentioned the bicycle safety because when i was growing up i had a bicycle safety course and i feel like that helped me to be a better driver mm -hmm. <laughs> as an adult so yes yes that sounds like a really good um, and we want to turn those bicyclists into motorcyclists yeah so they can eventually join <laughs> spider life right safe motorcyclists <laughs> Yep. So do you guys do tricks and stuff on on these? Or we don't do tricks, but we know of individuals that have that do tricks. Uh, oh, okay. No. Nope. Yeah. Okay. No, we don't wow. do tricks. Wow. So, do, are you all involved involved with Bike Week at all? Yes, or? we do. But you know what? But what we have found with Bike Week, mm -hmm. um, there are more things for people just to uh, just merchants per se. You know. Okay. Um, there's no. Activity. There's no real. Uh, educational opportunities that we've seen, you know, okay. but it's a good time for socializing, okay. seeing new products and just uh, hanging out with friends uh, okay. over a nice long period of time. And okay. So, so what would set you all apart from other bike groups would well, be the educational aspect that you're trying to bring to the table? Well, that, but uh, with Spider Life, mm -hmm. we are about creating hubs for the community. Okay. Uh, where is okay? Here we talk about membership, mm -hmm. adventure. Mm -hmm. Now our adventure riding group is called Slat. Okay. Uh, the membership there's a fee mm -hmm. of sixty dollars, and for the adventure touring there's a fee for thirty dollars. Okay. Now what this does, uh, when you join us with Spider Life, mm -hmm. we are ambassadors. That means okay. we ride all over the place. And we create stakeholders okay. for community um, transformation. I like that. We want to be able to transform a community, but it takes our volunteers mm -hmm. doing that cold calling and getting by the gatekeepers. Right. And so with Spider Life, 
you have the opportunity to just ride just for the fun of it with our adventure membership. Okay. You don't have to be a part of uh, the mission that we have, mm -hmm. but you can instill joy, enjoy what we do mm -hmm. from a distance. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And um, like what policy means for mm -hmm. us is we applaud what saying is working great. And we make suggestions with our blueprints because what we do is create blueprints mm -hmm. for communities. Okay. Yes. We are community consultants and we'll go in and uh, make the assessment. Mm -hmm. If things need to be changed or adjusted, we make those suggestions. And if they want to do that, then um, they'll be known as a hub mm -hmm. connected to other cities that do it. Okay. And so they can exchange ideas. I like it. But it's all about increasing it. the kingdom of God through community action. Yeah. So I'm God first with everything. Right. So yeah, I, I only interview people who have God first in their life as the center of their life. Because that's the only way that anything is able to even move. That so. is so commendable. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, I have some great mentors. Like I, I was also in the military as well. So okay. I try to follow those ahead of me. You know, and then bring those behind me with me. So, right. Yes, yeah. I was in the military for 27 years. So yeah, what branch? I, do, I was Air Force and Army. Yeah. In the National Guard and active duty on both sides. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so how did? Why did you switch from Air Force to Army or vice versa? Well, uh, the difference, in my opinion, to all my vets out there, <laughs> the Army is about camaraderie mm -hmm. and teamwork and getting it done. Yeah. But if you're looking for a career on the technical side, mm -hmm. a little bit more of adventure, join the Air Force. Yeah. Because um, they're more technical. Right. And so I wanted to get the best of both worlds. Okay. And I wanted a retirement, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's always good. Right. Were you in the military as well? I know I wasn't. I'm um, EMS. So I, I okay. And yeah. Safety as well, you know. Safety first. Yeah, <laughs> save lives. Right? Yeah. Especially right. in this climate that we're in today, everybody needs to know. Yes, we do. We have to keep our annual training at like all the civilian jobs. Like make sure we know how to do CPR and use the what is it, the AD AD? AED. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. We yeah. need all of that. Yeah. Okay. Well, Okay, would you like to um, take us a little bit in depth about your planting seeds for the future banner? Oh, planting seeds for the future brand, uh, banner. Mm -hmm. we're, calling on, we're calling on Hollywood. Yeah. If you're a writer, producer, or anybody that knows anything about broadcasting, we need you. Okay. We need your resources. We need your expertise. And we, lead, we need you to be moderators on our channel. So, uh, planting seeds basically means... It's um, an agricultural metaphor from the Bible. If you don't plant a crop, you can't get a crop. Yeah. yeah. And so we're doing this with our lives of our young members and older members, too, because you're never to yeah. everybody. Event management. We do a lot of event management stuff. We're creating rallies to fairs to events. And we do it mainly with the tools that we have. We showcase our bikes. We showcase what we do. And uh, education, oh, that's always great. Yeah, it is. Because the more you know, the more you can pass on to others. Yeah. Um, one of the other programs I didn't mention to you about is our Puppet Adventures. Mm -hmm. Puppet Adventures is a way to explain tough conversations to our youth. Okay. okay? And um, we're looking for puppeteers, anybody that likes puppets, does puppets. That will be able to be our moderator, give us some insight on how to express that message to our youth, okay. particularly the uh, young elementary students. Okay. 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 Nice. Uh, storytelling, that's part of it too. But what is movie made of? Movies yeah. are made of stories. Right. And that's so that's true. why we're calling on Hollywood. Okay. We're calling on Hollywood to send us your treasure. We're looking for a tractor trailer studio that we can take from town to town and inspire young and old people to follow their passions and their dreams. Uh, legacy. We all want to know where we came from mm -hmm. and we want to document where we're going. It's about creating legacies through our fatherhood program. Mm. You know, we want to be able to guide our men, regardless of race. We want yeah. to guide our men 
and um, also with the Legacy Program, we do something for our seniors and those that are experiencing memory loss. Mm -hmm. And their memory loss could be um, Alzheimer's mm -hmm. or, or something along that line dimension. Mm -hmm. And so we want to capture their stories. Okay. Because once mm -hmm. they were young men. Yeah. And now we want to capture their stories so they can pass them on to their grandchildren and right. stuff. We want to capture grandma's memories. Yeah. We want to recipes and stuff yes. like this. Yeah, we need those. And tell things. a story. <laughs> we and, need and, all of and, that. And, and, and I know it's sad, but from time to time, we're called on to um, do a memory for someone that's passed on. Mm -hmm. We'll take pictures. We'll put them in a format so you can play it at their uh, oh, home going. Okay, there. that's nice. Well, do you have any recent, either of you, have any recent testimonies that could possibly help someone, um, well, that could possibly inspire others with hope to continue following their dreams? Okay. I'll let you. Uh, well, uh, I would say um, just doing something, just staying consistent mm -hmm. with whatever it is that you're doing because a lot of times people don't they don't follow the course mm -hmm. they'll start something and they'll end it right soon so i would say just to, to be consistent and persistent in whatever you're doing mm -hmm. you know just to make a difference and you know inspire someone else okay. See what my bracelet says inspire someone and that's what we yeah need to do. okay right. <laughs> nice and if i can just piggyback a little bit more on what he said mm -hmm. my testimony is simple pray pray fervently yeah take deliberate actions towards your dream yeah yeah engrave them on your heart because uh if you want to do something you have to be passionate about it yeah you got to almost be willing to go bankrupt about your dream <laughs> it's true so, <laughs> and yeah. so so if you're willing uh, uh to keep god first and continue to pray um you will be successful yeah but it might not be on your time frame you're right Right. And so that's why, as we were saying, a lot of people just fall off and they give up mm -hmm. because they're on their time frame instead of what God might have for them. Yeah, that's yes. true. Okay. Well, it has been my pleasure to interview you too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been a very nice, like learning all of the things that you offer and bring to the community. Right. It's always needed. Yes. So. Um, I look forward to probably doing a follow-up um, interview after the Bikes with Lights interview. Not interview, but the Bikes with Lights uh, yes, event. Yes. So. And uh, one, one last thing I want to say now. A lot of the services that we provide, mm -hmm. we are in our launch stage. Mm -hmm. So they're not active now. Yeah. But they will be just as soon as we develop our uh, volunteer teams mm -hmm. and uh, we develop more treasure for what we're doing. Financial yeah. donations is what mm -hmm. I'm speaking of. For those who don't know, money. Everyone has so, to start right, somewhere. Right. Mm -hmm. So And so that's where we are. We're trying to brand the message and get it out there to the world. Okay. And it's going to so, happen. Right. <laughs> it's going to happen. So. Okay. Thank you very well, much. <laughs> yeah. Please follow, subscribe, like, add, request, comment, and share. Yeah, all of that good stuff. See you Monday.